It's really a new generation of microscopes which allow us to do more than what we've been able to do before in a much more precise and accurate way. So in neurosurgery, the vast majority of our procedures we do through the microscope. So things like spinal surgery, surgery on the spinal cord or the elements around the spinal cord, surgery on the brain uh, or the structures surrounding the brain, including things like uh, vascular surgery for the vessels of the brain, brain tumors, all requires high magnification to complete safely and efficiently. There's a lot of technology that's built into these microscopes now that allow us to perform different types of procedures and also allow us to see different things than you can with the naked eye. For example, although most of our procedures are just using light, we can use different colors of light and different dyes within the vessels to be able to see actually blood flow and blood flow through the vessels in real time, which can help with surgery for aneurysms and for vascular malformations. We can also do things like integrate our microscope with our navigation system. So we use essentially a GPS system for the brain. Before an operation, we load up their most recent scan. And then once we're in the operating room, we can actually use that scan and use essentially a 3D reconstruction in the computer to be able to visualize where we are within that scan during an operation. This is fruit much bigger than you typically see it, but what we can do is, using the microscope, is we can actually zoom in. So I'm going to go and actually we'll look right inside this raspberry here. And using some of our micro instruments, what we're able to do is we could use our forceps and we could take out individual seeds from inside a raspberry. Something which you might find a little bit difficult to do without a microscope. And the appropriate tools. On the outside of our raspberries, we've got our little hairs. And so you can appreciate that that actually looks a whole lot bigger on the screen. Now, another type of thing that we might do during an operation is we can actually take our needles, which are very small, and manipulate and actually sew things back together. I've never had a raspberry stuff with a pistachio, but there's always a time to try something new. We're looking at things that are smaller than a millimeter in size, but with excellent magnification, we can see a lot more than you'd typically be able to see and also be able to manipulate on those scales in order to make sure that we're doing everything as safely as possible. Another thing that has really helped with the advent of the new microscope uh, is that we actually have a, a couple technologies that allow us to help with teaching a whole lot. So number one, you can see the screen behind me allows communication with the team and with learners in the room. It allows them to see what's going on during an operation and also allows me to point out important things as they happen. So not only is it useful for communication amongst the, everyone in the operating room, it's also very useful when we have medical students or other learners like residents in the room who may not be able to be under the microscope at the time uh, that I'm working, but are also able to look and see what's happening so I can actually explain to them what's going on, show them the anatomy and help them understand the procedure itself. I think the most fulfilling part of being a pediatric neurosurgeon is the family and the patients. There is such incredible resiliency with my patients and their families and it is truly amazing to be able to actually help them and be able to bring them through to the other side of an operation to help them in, in many different ways, whether it's quality of life improvement, whether it's a life-saving procedure for a trauma or a hemorrhage from a vascular malformation. It's truly a unique experience and one of my favorite things about being a pediatric neurosurgeon.